I shared with you in uh, late July, early August, that domestic airfares are actually going down. And I recently uh, helped my daughter find a fare from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C., and the fare, shockingly, was $208 round trip. And it wasn't on Spirit or Frontier. It was on a regular airline. And it was just over 200 round trip. And I bought a ticket to go to the West Coast to see my daughter in L.A. And my fare was $94 each way to go coast to coast. I mean, the fares that have been so ridiculously high with the wave of what was called revenge travel, the fares are settling down. And I think people who had uh, flight credits they were using up and things like that, that that era has passed and we're moving into the slow travel season anyway. But when you start thinking about travel for Thanksgiving and Christmas, I mean, Thanksgiving is the most expensive time to travel every year. You think about the Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving, Sunday and Monday after. I mean, it's just unconscionably expensive. But the demand is there. So what do you do about that? First, Google owns so much of the database that the airline industry uses for fares, and they have massive historical data. And so Google, every late summer, puts out with their predictive analysis when the cheapest time is for you to buy Thanksgiving travel, cheapest time for you to buy Christmas travel. And so this is something I want you to look at two ways. First, for Thanksgiving, right around the 1st of October is what Google's predictive analysis database says is going to be the point of lowest fares likely, not certainly, but likely for Thanksgiving travel. But let's go back to something I've been saying every year as long as I've been talking about travel going back, uh, well, 40 plus years, is that if you can avoid those four days at Thanksgiving, the fair picture gets so much better. If you can avoid flying that Tuesday or Wednesday before, the Sunday and Monday after, move your travel around somewhat, you're going to get a better deal, period. At Christmas travel, Google's predictive tools say roughly 10 weeks out of whenever you're traveling Christmas, New Year's, that's when you're going to get the best deals. So if you can use the calendar to your advantage when you book, so 10 weeks out, so we're talking um, mid-October, basically, for Christmas travel. So for Thanksgiving travel, right around the 1st of October. For Christmas travel, around mid-October is going to be what's going to help you a lot with shopping for those airfares. This year, the travel patterns for Christmas, New Year's, are more difficult to save money because Christmas Day is a Monday. New Year's Day is obviously a Monday, seven days later. And when Christmas and New Year's are around the weekend, on the weekend, uh, they're on Friday, they're on Monday, you tend to have fares that spike right around then because the travel is not as spread out. When Christmas, New Year's are on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the fares tend to be much lower in those years 
because when people travel is much more spread out. So your mission, if you decide to accept it, is you shop for fares for Christmas and New Year's is use one of the fair search calendars and widen your scope of days that would be acceptable for you to go as you're looking for the best deal for where you're going. But the calendar is both your friend and your enemy. I want it to be your friend.